Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on a brand of candle that I've never burned before. I'm gonna be showing what kind of candles I've been burning around my house um, the last like probably three weeks. Um, and then also what I have been melting in terms of wax melts. Before I get started, if you have not already subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again today. All right, we're gonna jump right into this. Um, first, I wanted to go into this, let's see, new candle that I bought. I had heard from a couple people. Um, one in particular is a YouTube channel, Mr. Kong's Mom. She does a lot of home fragrance reviews, but she has been raving about these Homeworks candles. And I will, I won't lie, for probably about eight months, I have been just seeing them on Ulta and just not sure if I wanted to pull the trigger because um, even on sale, these are run about 20 bucks. So I really needed to be sure that this is something that I really wanted to um, check out. So luckily I just had a ton of Ulta points. So I figured there's no better time than now. So this is one of the ones that I got, which is Jasmine and White Peach. It comes in a very sturdy glass. Um, it is a four wick candle. I don't know if you can see this. Look how dirty this is. I'll go into that review in just a minute. Now, when these came in, I'm not going to lie. I was so excited. I smelled it, um, on cold. This, um, gives off definitely peach is the first note. Um, Jasmine or a floral scent is in the background, but it did not smell powdery, which made me really happy. I don't really like, um, florals that smell overly like baby powder to me because I just don't want my house to smell like baby powder. But, um, I was really excited with just the sturdiness of the glass, how well it smelled on cold, um, but it didn't smell overly strong. So I felt like this might be like a medium throw candle. Um, but I felt like it would be a great late spring staple with um, still having the floral notes and having the white peach. So let's talk about what I thought once I burned it. So when I first burnt this candle, I didn't have any issues with it pulling. It pulled fairly quickly. I usually burn my candles for about three to four hours max at a time. Um, I usually burn them at night. And um, I won't lie though, the throw, it was so light. It was so light. Um, I definitely got more of the jasmine note than the peach, um, which it was interesting because like I said, on cold, I could smell the peach much more than the jasmine. So you do get more of a jasmine note. The peach is secondary, but it is there. Um, I was kind of a little bit um, weirded out that with four wicks, that the throw was so off. And then also, I don't know if you can tell, the wicks completely puned out. So they never really got long, but if they ever had a, like a little mushroom, I would just trim off the mushroom slightly, but it got to the point where it wouldn't even light anymore. So this last time um, that I tried to burn it, which I think I got maybe like, I would say about eight, to 10 burns on this. I can't really remember because it's been probably a month ago since I burnt this, but um, I got about eight to 10 burns. So that is, if I did eight and say on average, it was about 24 hours. It says that you're supposed to get, let's see, um, burns 30 to 55 hours. So if I got 10 burns out of it, it just hit 30 maybe, but you can see it still has about an inch of wax. I don't know if you can tell from here or if the lighting kind of throws it off, but either way, I felt like I had a lot left and I didn't, I can't put this on my candle warmer. I tried and, um, cause I have a candle warmer plate for when my Bath and Body Works candles kind of pune out a little bit with the wicks. Um, and I can still get some fragrance out of it. This one, it wouldn't light at all. I think the glass is too thick. Um, so overall, I felt like this was just not a good value for me. Um, I do have another one in my storage that I will be burning probably in the next couple months since it's a summer candle. It is um, pineapple colada. And I'm just going to say right now when I smell it, it smells so good. So I'm still excited about it. I don't want to give Homeworks a bad rep because Bath and Body Works, who... I love their candles, 
50% of the time there's either burn issues or furrow issues. So, um, but I'm, I'm saying if you're going to buy them for 20 to 25 bucks, I was hoping that my first um, experience with them would be a little bit more positive. Like I said, the throw was really light. The smell um, was good. I would say it's not something that I will repurchase again, but it was enjoyable. Um, and yeah, that is my, I thought it was going to be brief review, but maybe not so brief review of Jasmine and White Peach, my very first Homeworks candle from Harry Slatkin. So moving on to Bath and Body Works, I'm going to talk about the one single wick candle that I have here in my stash. Um, I usually use single wicks in my bedroom. Um, they do such a good job at filling up um, a decent size bedroom. It usually, you know, I have a very large master bedroom and I have no problem usually getting a decent throw out of it. This one is Tiki Beach. And the notes on this are warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. I definitely get that um, coconut scent. Um, I almost feel like it has maybe like a pineapple or a peach too in it, but it doesn't say that in the notes. Um, I find this to be fruity, definitely a little bit beachy because I do get um, those uh, that orchid Hawaiian type note in there. Um, the vanilla, um, it, said, it has it as the first note, but I honestly find that to be a little bit on um, the background note, um, it does give it a little bit of a softness instead of it being so fruit forward, but this is a great staple. I, this is not the first time I've done Tiki Beach, but Tiki Beach is just a great scent. Um, it did a great job. Um, it did get dirty, but my single wicks do a lot of the time when I'm trying to light them when they get so far down. It looks like I have a lot left, but actually it was pretty much done, but I think I got a good, you know, couple weeks of um, burning out of this in my room. And yeah, if you're ever interested in the single wick candles, a lot of the times they're on sale for 10 for 20. Right now on the semi-annual sale, you can get some of them for six bucks. So um, I just find them to be a really great value for a small space. All right, I have a couple three wick candles that I've burned the last couple of, or not last couple of months, um, the last month. And um, the first one is Honeysuckle. This is a classic scent. This is in the White Barn collection. I love the, um, I don't know if it's iridescent, but this, um, what would you call this type of, it's almost like um, the type of gift paper that um, sheens, you know what I'm talking about. Apparently I don't have a way with words with describing fabrics or wrappings or something like that, but I really like um, the look of this. So anyway, getting back to Honeysuckle, um, this is what it says, Honeysuckle. This is such a great floral scent, no powder to it. It smells just like an authentic Honeysuckle. It's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. And I think the notes on it says, sweet Honeysuckle nectar, peony petals, soft creamy vanilla with essential oils. I don't get any vanilla on this. Not at all, actually. I just get that um, great Honeysuckle nectar, maybe a little bit of peony. But uh, this is a great classic floral scent. If you like florals, you don't like that powder note, honeysuckle is right up your alley. Um, the burn on it was not great. As you can see here, a couple of my wicks puned out a little bit, um, but um, I got through it fairly well. Um, it was a slow burning candle, so I did get a decent amount of burns out of it. Um, honeysuckle, good staple, always for springtime. Now that we're getting into summer, you're gonna see a little bit of more summer type scents coming from me, but pick this one up next time you're looking for a floral. All right, another one from the White Barn Collection at Bath & Body Works is Georgia Peach, another classic scent. Um, not my favorite packaging, but that's okay. Um, this is just a very nice, soft peach scent. It's definitely not a tartar peach smell, um, like a lot of other peach scents can do. This one is just very feminine, um, very um, great transition from spring into the warmer summer days. I love this. I usually get this every year. Um, and let's see, the notes on this are juicy peaches, dew covered leaves, a hint of vanilla. I don't know if I get leaves out of this, but I do get that peach and I do get that creamy vanilla that really softens it. Uh, Georgia peach, just a really great staple. Um, Again, the wicks puned out on me here, but, and you can see that I did get some sooting. 
Um, this is why I don't buy Bath & Body Works candles unless I can get them on sale for $12.50 or less. Just letting you know, do not ever pay full price for Bath & Body Works candles. They always have sales on them. Just don't. Um, but the throw on this, I would say was about a medium throw, um, maybe on a scale of one to 10, I would say it is probably about a five or a six. It did fill up my, I usually had it in the kitchen and that opens up into my living room. I could smell it in there, just could not smell it outside of those two rooms. Um, cause I do have an open concept downstairs. Um, I did put this on the candle plate or the warmer plate that I was talking about earlier after the wicks pewned out. That's why they're kind of all scattered around. Um, and I got a good, probably three extra days of scent out of it. So I feel for the long run, I still got my money's worth of probably 11, 12 bucks that I paid for it. Georgia peach, a great spring and summer scent. I actually have Georgia peach going in uh, my bathroom as the hand soap. Um, and it's actually a lot of a tartar peach smell. So, but I did notice, I don't know why I'm talking about this now about hand soap, but the hand soap has citrus in it. Um, but it's still called Georgia peach, but this one has no citrus in it. Just an interesting tidbit. All right, let's talk about some wax here. Um, we're going to go into some Scentsy and then I have a couple, um, inexpensive Walmart type of, uh, scents. I will let you know, I have been totally obsessing about Scentsy lately. Um, they had the Bring Back My Bar sale. Um, I had just did my first Scentsy Club order that just came in. Um, I just started doing that because, um, yeah, because I'm obsessed with home fragrance and there's just a lot of things that I'm starting to really explore in Scentsy that now I wanna get on a frequent level. So if you guys are interested in seeing what is in my Scentsy Club, let me know in the comments down below and I will do a video about that. Maybe if you have a Scentsy Club or you're thinking about doing a Scentsy Club order, um, you can get some ideas and I can get some ideas from you. Okay, you saw this one in my last wax melt video, but this is um, the Disney Dumbo Circus Parade wax melt. Um, I bought three of these, I believe. Um, so I went through another bar of this. Um, this is a great, um, it smells like maybe a little bit of peach lemonade. Um, there is like a vanilla creaminess note to it. Um, it gives off a pretty decent, um, throw and it's just a really nice, soft, um, pleasing scent. Perfect for late spring, early summer. Yeah. D Disney Dumbo Circus Parade. You can these are still available, I believe, on the Scentsy website. So if you're interested in uh, checking it out, go ahead and, oops, <laughs> go ahead and check it out. Oh, and this is not in my Scentsy Club. I like it, but it's not quite club worthy, um, but it is a possible repurchase down the road if I get something at my butt that I need to have it. So just letting you know. All right, these next two are now in my Scentsy Club. Uh, this one is Here Come the Sun Flowers. It comes in a really pretty yellow wax. Um, oh my gosh, I really, really enjoyed this one. It's the first time I had uh, melted this. This is like a sweet floral scent. Um, you do get a great authentic sunflower note, but there is probably a little bit of um, fruit in the background of it that just really makes this a really sweet floral scent, which I love. Um, it's great for this time of year. Here come the sunflowers. It's club worthy, everybody. you like it. I didn't even talk about the throw and the durability on this one. Um, the throw on this is medium. Um, I would say on a scale of... <laughs> Can I keep these in my hand? On a scale of one to 10, I would give this probably about a six. Um, it did pretty well. Um, and I, the fragrance appeal on this is just, it's a favorite. So here come the sunflowers. Okay. Pink cotton in my club. I love this. I had been hearing my consultant, Lisa Roberry, who has her own YouTube channel. I will, um, link it down below. Hers is all about Scentsy about 98% of the time. So if you want more of a detailed, uh, description or official descriptions on some of the Scentsy bars that I'm talking about, I really recommend checking out her channel. Let her know that I sent you too. Um, but Pink Cotton is one of her favorites and y'all, 
so good. So me and my older daughter, we love like laundry fresh type scents. I love um, my sheets to smell super fresh. I love walking into a house and it smells like fresh laundry. And um, so Clean Breeze is one that's in my club um, that gives just that, that authentic, fresh, really strong laundry scent. This one gives off a laundry scent, but it's mixed in with berries. So it gives a sweet laundry note. Sounds weird. Check it out. I don't think that you would regret it. Um, this gives off a great throw. I'm talking about probably a level eight. You can smell it throughout the whole house. Um, it says, I think in the Scentsy description that there might be some marshmallow or vanilla too in it. Um, I guess you can get that. Um, like I said, it is a sweeter, um, like fruity type cotton scent. Um, I know that they have laundry products in this too, which I am definitely going to check out. Um, right now, I think I have clothesline coming in washer whiffs, but um, pink cotton is definitely a one that I'm going to check out. But this is going to be a staple in my house going forward. Pink cotton. Woo! So good. Okay, we're going to move on to some wax that I got from Walmart. We're going to start with Yankee Candle, and this one is such a classic scent. I think everyone has probably heard of this scent or smelled it. Apparently, these are just not very secure, or I just have a very heavy wrist. But this is Yankee Candle's uh, Pink Sands. Okay, Pink Sands, yes, it does give that little bit of a beachy vibe, probably some coconut, um, but it is very sweet. It can be cooing to some, and cooing is that almost type of thing where it almost like a little bit too sweet, um, but I like it. Um, it's great just um, to have as a summer scent around your house. You do get, um, it looks like six, uh, cubes here in the clamshell. In Scentsy, you get eight, um, but um, they're really big sized uh, wax melts. Um, let's see, I believe that these retail for $3.50, I could be wrong, um, over at Walmart. And um, yeah, Yankee Candle does a really good job with their wax melts. I'm not a huge fan of their candles because I just don't feel like they give off enough throw and they're ridiculously overpriced, but their wax melts, they just do a really great job. So Pink Sands, classic scent, inexpensive if you wanna check it out. Okay, Warm Spring Sunshine from uh, Better Homes and Gardens. It's right here. I'm trying to, I liked this, I know that, but I don't think it's one I'm gonna purchase again just because, to be honest, I don't even remember what it smells like. It's definitely a, a sweet floral a little bit powdery, but not overly so. It's doable. So like I said before, I'm just not into like powdery notes in my florals, but this is not bad. Um, warm spring sunshine. I would say it gives a medium throw. Um, the appeal is average for me. It performed well though. Um, Better Homes and Gardens, I think retails for these six um, bars. I usually put one in each of my warmers downstairs. Um, they go for two bucks. I mean, it's two bucks. It's definitely for the budget shopper, which I feel like I am half bougie, half um, not cheap, but you know, the bargain type of shopper. So this fits my bill. Sometimes you can get some really great scents for a super cheap, but uh, warm spring sunshine. I'm glad that I tried it. Just probably something I'm not going to repurchase. Okay. I love this and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to tell you it's also like $2, $2 for this amazing scent, honeysuckle pineapple. So I saw this and I'm like, I love honeysuckle. I love pineapple together. How are they going to smell? Oh my gosh. This is so good. So good. Pineapple, I believe is a, the slight higher note in this. So you'll smell the pineapple first. The Honeysuckle is such a great compliment to it. It just really brings the scent together. It is super strong. I would say it's probably an eight, eight and a half in terms of throw. The appeal on this for me is like a nine and a half. It is good. And I mean, it's a sensational, um, you know, $2 wax. So it's not gonna last you like three days, but it, it did last me the 12 hours that I usually keep my warmers on. And I like to switch out my wax every day anyway. But, um, oh my gosh, 
this, it says limited edition, but I feel like I might need to buy a couple more just in case they don't bring it back. Um, like rock candy. I think that one's from better homes and gardens, maybe sensational. So I can't remember, but I cannot find that anywhere at Walmart. And I really wish I would have bought extra and I do not want to miss out on this. So I'm going to look next time over at Walmart to see if this is back, but honeysuckle pineapple, if you love fruity scents, if you like, um, honeysuckle, but even if you don't like honeysuckle, if you just like pineapple, I really think you're going to enjoy this because while it's not only pineapple, it just complements it and brings it together so well. <sighs> Two bucks. Two bucks well spent. All right, everybody. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for um, hanging out with me and going over what I have been burning and melting in my house. Um, I would love to know, what are you burning and melting right now? Is there anything that you just can't get enough of or something that you tried that you weren't super into? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you're interested in trying out Scentsy, I will leave Lisa's YouTube channel down below. She also, in her channel, will give um, you know her website and um, how to make your first order. Um, but also I hope that you enjoyed some of my budget options. It's just a really great way that you can get some really great home fragrance at um, a reasonable price. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so. I really want to thank each and every one of you for um, either subscribing or watching or sharing my YouTube channel. Um, I feel like I'm getting just a little bit more momentum and I have you guys to thank for that. So um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for the last few minutes. I hope that I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.